For anyone who can't read Japanese, this has to be the iPod equivalent of the blue screen of death. It's stuck at the screen. It's not plugged into anything. It says it's, uh, don't know if you can read the clock at the top there. Let me shut that. Okay. Don't know if you can read the top there. It says 355. That's the time it's been stuck at for the past 13 minutes or so. Because I was an impatient idiot and I unplugged the thing without, unfish without like, officially deactivating it first or whatever. And now it's stuck in this state. And there doesn't seem to be anything I can press or anything I can do to reset it. You know, that's the... That's the thing about Mac stuff versus Windows stuff. Is that with Windows stuff, you're used to it going haywire. You're used to it not working quite right all the time. So, when stuff does go wrong, there's something you can do about it, because you're used to things going wrong. But with Apple stuff, you're not used to it going wrong. It usually works pretty well. I don't use Apple stuff a lot, but I did in college, <laughs> years and years ago. And I've been pretty happy with this. This iPod has been the first Apple thing I've bought in a long time. And I've been pretty happy with it until it crashed just now. I crashed my iPod. Yes, I crashed my iPod. Huh. So if anyone has any ideas on how to deal with this, let me know. Damn, I needed I needed this too. I needed this too. I had songs I was trying to study for my band. Yikes, this is not good. This is bad timing. Yeah, it's that's where I banged my head, uh Was it this no, it was yesterday morning. Haha. <laughs> yeah, my memory's doing great. Crash my iPod. Any advice? Any help? 